Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri and you are very welcome. This video is about Burkina Faso and Mali. As I always say here, yeah, they all do similar or same thing together. Yes, yesterday Burkina Faso has passed a law concerning financing and also women development, women empowerment. Yes, can you imagine the same thing is going on in Mali? So I put these two videos together. Families, listen to the Mali's one and I'll be back. Thank you for your time. National entrepreneurship, employment and vocational training has come to the rescue of women and people with disabilities. The department initiated a training program for this purpose, which resulted in the handover of kits to facilitate their socio-professional reintegration. Three members of the government took part in the ceremony. Details with Ben. The best form of solidarity towards vulnerable groups is to help them find sources of income. The Ministry of National Entrepreneurship, Employment and Vocational Training, through the National Employment Agency, supports women and people with disabilities. This support covers three areas. Training in simplified accounting and cutting and sewing, the provision of equipment and support for retraining. During these few days of training, we learned a lot of techniques in our different areas of activity. That's why we take great pride in the relevance of the themes selected, and in subsidizing training and equipment costs, which are generally outside the scope of the Youth Fellowship. One of the highlights of the ceremony was the presentation of a check for 3 million CF francs to a drinking worker and a physically handicapped man from Kachala, identified thanks to a report by Hortem Kachala. This gesture will facilitate his retraining. The theme in its public service mission takes its camera around the country to unearth Malians worthy of celebration. It's in this context that Apusha the White Gold Capital, our representative, who was unable to travel to my in the daily life of Mamadou Didier Vori, we are in our role, it is precisely our mission, the mission of public service. I think we've taken a lot of Malians out of the order who were just in the middle of these kind of citations. My department has decided to put 80 sewing machines for 200 vulnerable girls who have dropped out of school. Shaped and inserted. Without a kit of equipment and building materials available to the young people trained and inserted, this equipment was officially handed over to the beneficiaries at the end of the ceremony. The ceremony was marked by the presentation of a check for 11 million CFA francs to the NPE 2 million Partner Vocational Training Center for the Association des Persons de Petit Talé. Training certificates were also presented to members of the Average Federation of Disabled People and certificates of recognition to a NPE's Partner Training Center. Thank you for listening up to that stage. Please listen to Burkina Faso as well what they are doing concerning money. You know nowadays this mobile money in Africa, they are going to manage it. Everything is business when it comes to AES. And also women empowerment. I like that even most because all many of the troubles we are having start from home, start from the women, how we bring our children up. Sometimes you do your best, but if they will be good, they will be good. If not, but we have to do more. And also by doing more, we need job. So yes, they are going to cover the basis for us. Listen, I'll be back from this. A law that Burkina Faso intends to internalize. Because this law was passed to improve microfinance management systems. In fact, microfinance was governed by a law dating back to 2007. With the changing environment and the difficulties encountered by microfinance institutions in the field, particularly those set up as savings and credit cooperatives. A number of innovations have therefore been introduced, mainly to improve governance and make it more solid, to ensure that savers' deposits can be properly managed, so that microfinance, as an alternative to the banking system for small savers and small structures, can really play its role. A number of governance improvements have been taken into account in these plans. This will strengthen the system and, above all, ensure that microfinance institutions can play an important role in financing the economy. As you know, when it comes to banks, accessibility for certain categories of the population is not obvious. So microfinance is there to fill the gap. 
so it's important that we strengthen the microfinance management system so that it can play its role to the full. The second and third decrees concern the application of the law on public procurement adopted by the Transitional Legislative Assembly. This law brings a number of innovations, notably in terms of transparency. In terms of acceleration and accessibility to public contracts for Burkina Bay companies. Two degrees have been adopted. Today, the first concerns the organization of the Public Procurement Regulatory Authority, which is attached to the this regulatory authority plays a very important role in the process, because it is this authority that examines all disputes relating to public procurement, and because it includes a dispute settlement body, so the decree adopted today. Reviewed the composition of the body and also gave a little more investigative power to the regulatory authority of, so that this authority can fully play its role in regulating public procurement. The third decree concerns a code of ethics and professional conduct for public procurement. This code of ethics and deontology will make it possible to avoid conflicts of interest with regard to public procurement. Because, as you know, when it comes to public procurement, there are many allegations of conflicts of interest. So we need to strengthen the mechanisms to ensure that public procurement, and all the players involved in it, can work with total transparency and efficiency so that the issue of public procurement is seen in a much more positive light. So this system will genuinely strengthen all aspects of control at the level of the regulatory authority, control of the players, control of the processes for better monitoring of public procurement in our country. The Council adopted a draft bill authorizing ratification of the loan agreement between our country, Burkina Faso and the International Development Association. As far as the financing of the Women's Empowerment and Demographic Dividend Project is concerned, Sub-Saharan Africa wants more. The adoption of this report follows a restructuring process which has enabled us to truly take into account the government's priorities. We adopt a project which focuses on vocational training for women, on strengthening the drug supply chain right down to the last kilometer and therefore the adoption of this project will truly enable our country to ensure that women can be more empowered to participate fully in the socio-economic development of our country, by way of example. In this new, restructured project, we are going to build training centers. For young girls, for women, this will enable them to be better equipped so that, at the end of the training, they can benefit from support to set up in business and play a real part in the socio-economic development of our country. In the case of this new project too, we're going to build medicine distribution depots. Which will ensure that the medicine reaches the last mile, right down to the village level. Thank you, families, for staying with me up to this stage. Yes, this is the good news I want to share with you. For me, it is good news. Thank you so, so much, my returning, my new families, those who are passing by. Thank you. God bless you all, my VIPs, my queens and kings. Thank you. I'll be back with a very special announcement. Yes, thank you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Credit to FASO Survey and OLTM for sharing this news with us. Families, I'll be back. Stay blessed.